Hello, fellows, and welcome back. To more Enter the Gungeon Farewell to Arms. We're not gonna roll a stinking die today. I'd rather, uh, I'd rather die than roll a die. Because we're playing the Gunslinger. I heard y'all loud and clear. It's been a while, I guess. Uh, maybe it has, maybe it hasn't. But everybody loves this stinky son of a gun. This OP gun slinging, hash slinging, ash bringing, hash slinging slasher. I'm playing the gunslinger. We, in theory, should have a doozy, a doozy of a run today. One would think. With the, uh, you know, just the infinite synergies. Infinite, infinitesimal synergies is a pretty good situation, you know? There's some guns that just getting one synergy makes it a game-breakingly strong item. And, you know, there's a pretty decent chance you're gonna get one of them over the course of the entire run. Because there's just, there's a lot of them. where They're like, they're pretty good guns. They have just one little synergy that makes things a little crazy. Makes things OP OP. But, I don't know. We could go, this could be the run. <laughs> and for for the paradox, no, the gunslinger, the run is probably like a bad one. You know, like that's what we're saying. The, for this character, the run, the the unique beast is a bad run. I I think I think so. We'll see. Could this be the fabled time? I mean, I don't think so because the flash ray is already an amazing synergy for thirty five shells. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. For 35 shells. Bouncing off the walls. I believe when we... Yep, we do an AoE blast when we get down to the bottom there. Alright. We could just fight the boss. Don't need to be too stingy, I don't think. Don't need to be too stingy. The one thing we are gonna have that's a little annoying in my book is the fact that the flash does kind of do a little bit of a freeze frame effect that I'm not too keen on I, you know not too keen on seems like it might get us into a little bit of trouble potentially Hup. At, at the very least the stuttering is it's gonna do more harm than it is gonna do any kind of good I would imagine That's amazing. That's amazing. We'll take this. Really, really good synergy. Why do I feel like we are supposed to have bouncy bullets? Nah, nah, nah. Unity? Okay. That's another good one. Another good one. We've already, You know what? We've already got to run. Nowhere to go but down from here. Everything we need is here. The gang's all here. We got to... A good room clear, a good boss clear. Unity is just going to make things nice. Everything from here is just going to be icing on the cake. And this is going to be a gun. It's actually worth opening as this character. Because this is probably one of the most insane synergy. Like, guns to get all the synergies with. Oh my god. That's a big deal. That is a, a big yet. Can I afford this? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done it. Shouldn't have done it. Let's bugo. Helix is another one that I really do like. Because we would get the double-double Helix synergy, and that one is really, really fun. Because it is just the Helix, but more. It is like Helix, but even more. What else could you want? He you like Helix? Double it. It's the... I haven't been to McDonald's enough. Is a McDouble a thing? Is that a thing, or is that something where if I go up to the register and I say I'd like a McDouble, they roll their eyes and say, very funny. I want a double cheeseburger. Ooh. What's that? Was that a wrap? Like, I want a double cheeseburger, but hold the lettuce. Don't be front, son. No seeds on the bun. We be up in this drive through order for two. I got a cream for a number nine. Like my shoe. Something like that. I think it was something like that. I don't know. I definitely don't have it off the top of my head or anything. But, you know, something like that, I think. You know, maybe. I think I heard something like that one day. But the flare gun. Holy moly. I mean, 
why why have I turned my brain off already, you may wonder? Because we got the green demon right here. Green demon. Where now where have I heard that? Why have I I keep saying things that I'm like, what is that? I, I believe that is the look at this random trivia day. The green demon is isn't that the I mean, watch it be something completely different and why honestly watch it be something inappropriate. That's always how it goes, but I think that's the challenge in Super Mario 64 where you it's it's a challenge because you pick up or you spawn a, like a one-up mushroom somewhere and then you have to complete the entire level with it chasing you without getting it. I think that's the green demon challenge. I think so. This uh, this episode can only go <laughs> can only go up down, I don't know, all around. Don't really know. Honestly, I like is this great or is this awful? I never know. And those are usually the ones that turn great, so hopefully we're setting ourselves up for a banger today. We've already got a banger of a weapon. I honestly, like, I feel like we could beat the game right now. Put me in the lich, put me in the lich fight, and we've won. I genuinely think so. Don't have to worry about the DPS cap against this son of a gun. Son of a gun of a man of an Aghanim. Rush Mason Remix when? Got 34 shells. Uh, wind up gun is a good buy. It is a good purchase for the price. What, am I, what did I get hit by? What was the explosion? Was it an enemy or was there an explosive barrel there that I was just too full of hubris to really fully notice? That may be the case. You don't have a boss damage cap either, so you're gonna get it good. Uh, it's it's funny how it does the infinite fire effect too, as if the meteor strike synergy is not gonna be plenty. Do we have a synergy or a, a curse yet? I don't think so. Your boy taking one, just in case we don't get one later. I always always like to. Hi hi. Well, that did not go great. I always like to have one synergy, or one, I did it again, one curse. Dang, man, can't get it straight today. I always like to have one curse because, I mean, we immediately, of course, picked up a gun with, with curse, but it's nice to have it in case there is a black market, because then you don't have to worry about, I'll take that for that price. This is the question, do I want, it, do I want safety or I want insanity? I want insanity. Who do you think I am, game? What is this synergy? I don't freaking know. Please don't stop the music. Double up the music. We can't quite... Let's hear. Since we're not going to be able to make it over there, let's at least do this. Oh, not good, not good, now very good. Not that this is a hard boss, like, I really shouldn't have to even think about this boss. This is the one that I'd be really, really embarrassed if I died on, ever. I think I would quit Gungeon forever. That would be the dying day of the Retromation YouTube television show. We're gonna keep on moving, we don't have enough money. Let's answer a Discord question, why don't we? Phalanx710 asks, what is your least favorite S-tier item and how would you fix it? You know what? I'm going to pull up the Rito scale and sort by S-tier real quick. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Gilded Hydra, I, it's definitely not my least favorite. Strafe Gun is an S-tier? That doesn't sound right. Dark Marker is not bad, but I don't know. Super hot watch. There's a, you know what? There's a lot of S tier items that I don't really like getting. I, uh, is what I'm learning right here. Uh, I don't like getting the elemental, elementaler. I don't really like. I don't love getting the AU gun, the golden gun, straight gun. I don't rate it that much. Patriot. I used to love it a lot more than I do now. Man, S tier is whack. <laughs> I, I like. I think that. 
genuinely, a lot of the red chest guns, especially now after the changes, they're almost more fun to get. Because it feels like the way that S tier is balanced is like super good with some like just a, a major drawback. Which I do like the concept of, and I always talk about how I like the concept of that, so it's funny that I'm pooping on it right now. I'm poo-pooing on it. But at the same time, it's just... They, they all seem so... For the most part, it seems like a tier of kind of like slow, slow but powerful guns. Which I don't... I don't really like slow guns as much. I'm a, I'm a wacky, crazy, fast man. What can I say? I gotta go fast. As Sonic the Hedgehog said in my new favorite movie. Gotta, how does he say? Gotta go fast. Like, he, it's, like it's a, like it's a disease. He's like, I gotta, gotta go fast. In the trailer, it's not, it's not like a, or, or I don't know, I have to re, rewatch it. Rewatch the whole trailer. Man, what a phenomenon. What a strange phenomenon. Like, where do you begin? <laughs> where do you begin? I, I, I've gone on record. Like, I think that the movie could still be good. I have less faith than I did pre-trailer, but I still think it could be good. Honestly, who cares about a synergy? We are the walking synergy. But yeah, I don't know what am I what am I saying? I don't know. Is it yeah, it's a strange phenomenon. Like the amount of like ups and downs, mostly downs uh, of the Sonic movie saga so far. And who knows, I'm not saying this is the case, but like there's nothing saying that Okay, let's be insane today. That it wasn't intentionally he wasn't intentionally made to look wacky bizarro. I mean, that's conspiracy town, but still Stranger things have happened. Two seasons. Three upcoming. Oh. But anyway, let's be wacky today. I, I mean, like I always say, I, I am perpetually whacked out. But uh, I'm going to try to use the grappling hook a little aggressively. Which never goes well for me. But using it to stun Suns is kind of my thing right now. I'm, I'm feeling it. It sounds good. Like, I got rid of double vision, so it kind of has to be good. This is the sunk cost theory. Actually, not really, because we haven't had it very long. Whoop. Everybody is subject to the sunk... Is it sunk cost theory or sunken cost theory? One of the... It's something about sinking costs. Downward cost theorem, where uh, the longer you've invested or the more time or resources you've invested into something, the less likely yeah, you're going to be to change your mind on it in the future, regardless of how valid your opinion should be. Like, you know, it's like, uh, say, say you said that the Sonic movie was going to be really good, or it might actually end up being good, and then you see the trailer, and it makes you, internally, you know that you're like, oh, shoot, I don't know, man. But then, vocally, you still feel like you got to be saying, oh, yeah, it's going to be a doozy. It's going to be a doozy, because you are you were the guy. You were the guy who was going to bat for it. This is not a real thing for, for my experience because I have already gone on record saying I definitely think a little bit less of it but Ben Schwartz he's the Sonic the Hedgehog the man and that excites me and what on earth is this podcast of an episode today Rito does games let me do the intro come on down to podcast town Rito does video games there made it up on the spot and we're gonna we're gonna use it for all, all 20, 20 seasons. Do podcasts have seasons? No. We're gonna change that. Right here in uh, in Rito Town. 
I just I still haven't figured out what this synergy is. I should probably try it out. Does it make it okay? We've got Fat Bullets and Kaga Battle going there, my friend. You want to maybe suck a little less? You might want to stink a little less. You know, Machine Pistol, this synergy is amazing. Oh, it's really good. And it functions quite well with Kaga Battle. Because it's got like a longer reload and like a bigger clip, but not so... It's, it's just not so fast that it uh, is impossible for me and my grandpa reflexes. Whoop, whoop. When are we playing Pong on the channel? When are we playing Pong? I want to play... I, You know, for a long time... Genuinely serious. I wanted to get some Dig Dug going on. <laughs> I wanted to get some Dig Dug going on the channel. We're playing Minesweeper on Twitch. Why can't we play Dig Dug on YouTube? It's a good game. It's a really good game. And you know what? It's a... Uh, I would argue that if it came out today and it was put on Steam, it would end up with a roguelike tag. You know, does, does it make sense? Maybe not. But uh, I, bet you, I bet you'd end up with one. Accurate or not. Oh, pop. Dang nabbit. So Dig Dug is basically Gungeon is what I'm getting at. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. So we've got what? Like, we got one curse from when we picked up the curse from the pot. We've got one curse from the shell gun. I don't know, man. I n never pick it up. I don't have to learn. Hey! God, I love that horrible dodge I just did. See, I don't know if that's going to work anyways. I mean, I should. Like, don't get me wrong. I, Of course I should. But will I? What have I done that for? Will I? No. No, 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 no. I've committed. I've committed. Sunk cost. Sunken cost. Battleship. Sunken cost. I don't know. There's a joke in there somewhere. I'm not the one to make it. Oh my god. Can we get the active reload on this? Like... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why can I... F I can fire faster if I mash my secondary reload. Oh, interesting. Might have found a little bit of a... Little glitch or so. Little metal arms glitch in the system. How come nobody talks about that game? Was it because it was mediocre and... I don't know. I, I don't remember. I had it. It was one of the strangest games that I bought, but I think it surpri was surprisingly good for GameCube. Nobody talks about it. Nobody talks about it. But we, here we be talking about on, a, on our, uh, our podcast. Here. On Rito Does Games. Not live. Okay, we don't have any keys, and I am displeased. I was definitely pointing to the right here, grappling hook. You want to rethink that one, partner? I've heard plunger's better. Huh. Here's what we're going to do. Buy that, steal that. Steal that. We got away with it? Why did we get away with it? Was it because he does not look over here? Are you serious? Okay, so apparently... Oh, that's... It got gungeoned. Gungeoned the gun, not gungeon the game we're playing. You can reload over the puddle... 
and fill up your ammo. I rate that very highly. Hey, that's a nice change. And apparently that's not just a, a synergy. Apparently that's just how it is now, unless the person who told me that was also playing on Gunslinger. In which case, we are all now confused. Yeah, this is working way better than it should. Just the rapid fire. Rapid fire. We got the active. Gonna waste it on you, ha! Huh? Gonna complete the rest of this room with just grappling hook. Thank you very much. This is gonna be a problem. Gonna be a problem. Jupe! Bring it. Oh, 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 what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Oh, yo, yeah. what? <laughs> Since when do they explode? Since when do they explode? Do we have a synergy that makes that happen? I've never seen that. I have also usually don't let the spent get in melee range of me, so it could just be that. Could just be that. I know, stop wasting ammo, I know. Stop wasting your anger. Take that, straw man. So we will take... I'm embarrassed. Come on, boss. Does that have a synergy? No. For shame. I don't know why I did that, because I definitely want to get that going. All right. Oh. Okay. This is doing some damage. Man. Damage man. The lamest villain ever. Fish in a barrel. One fish, two fish. Cory Kenshin fish. Forever and always. That's all this synergy that one fish, two. One fish, two fish. One fist, two fist. It's called boxing. Look it up. Uh. Uh. Uh, all right, excuse me uh, I Okay Well at least we got the curse we did we did want curse like that is true like, half the reason I wanted it was the curse, and half the reason was because, you know, I kind of just, I, I wanted, <laughs> hmm, I kind of wanted a key. Uh, well, we're out of blanks. Shall we fight this stinker? Let's go down to, let's go down. Why not? We can definitely afford to drop some health. Don't really want to drop guns right now. Quite frankly, like... Let's just, let's just be a cool guy. Why, why sacrifice anything else when we could just sacrifice our own life? I mean, it's heroic. Belial asks, what is your favorite topping on pizza? Thank you for asking. Let me tell you about uh, our Lord and Savior, banana peppers on a pizza. Because it is amazing. And I am, I hope to never go back. They, just so good. So, so good. Does it go on everything? Yes. No, it does not. It does not go on everything. But the pizzas it goes on... Ooh, baby, give it a try. If you have any interest in being enlightened... If you have any interest in making your life better... If you have any interest in making me proud... Get yourself some, uh, some banana peppers. Put them on your pizza. They're like, you don't even need, you don't, they're not, I don't know, people might think that they're really spicy. You don't have to get spicy banana peppers. But Rito, they're green. They're like a veggie-ish. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Try them. Anybody, this is your homework for the day. Like, I don't care when you're watching this. Your homework. 
for the day. As long as you're not allergic. <laughs> Try a banana pepper pizza. Like, do you put it on whatever, like, maybe do some research on what you think it'll go well with. Like, if you, especially if you have any kind of pizza that dabbles in the sweet nature, like, don't even get me stuck. Like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get the internet angry by saying what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna do it. Uh, you know, if you are somebody who likes a pineapple pizza or something that dabbles with that or something bizarre with the sauce, like a different type of sauce than a, a tomato sauce, I feel like banana peppers go extra good on those. This is your, it's your homework. Try it out and tell me how it goes. The end. All right, this is a boss. Should probably be using something else that went better than I expected, yet still bad. Should probably be using other things. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, me. You can see, you can use it really well. You can definitely tactically, tactically hook shot. Grappling hook, it's, yeah, it's Alpha. Around pretty well. Why is there no synergy with this though? That is a missed opportunity and a half right there. Give me all the curse. You're telling me I'm at max curse? Drop that garbage. Drop it like a bad habit. Ooh. Boy, oh boy. Potato Muncher asks, what's your favorite D rank item? Uh oh, okay. Well, gotta pull up the Reno scale again real quick. Tier, D tier. Oh boy, S. Next page, next page, D. Oh, Casey, right? Like, it's almost, it's gotta be Casey. That's a freebie. Other than that, let's look at this. Lowercase R is up there too. Lowercase R is up there for memitude and potential synergies. I'm surprised. I thought that was lower than jam. I'm surprised we got as cursed as we did. I like I know we stole some. I know we did thieve a smidgen, but I'm gonna die. Like I'm gonna die. This keeps happening. I might on the <laughs> on the videos recently. I just get things get a little too out of control, a little too wacky. We get a little too strong, a little too big for our bridges. Ooh, not worth it. Not worth it. Probably. Unless we end the run with a key, then it might as well. We might as well have done it. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, we do this. We do this. What are we talking about? It's just so ammo efficient, too. Like, it's way more ammo efficient than it has any right to be. Like, it... You know, it's so... It, the synergies that it has, like, the, the meteor synergy, like, especially, obviously, uh, is so good that it makes me consider throwing it in my... Uh, yes, I know that that is a very good active. I'm on fire, and I'm going to take a hit or two. Uh, I know that it's a very good active. I know that we should think about getting it. And maybe we will. But I, uh, it's the sunk cost theory. Can't go back now. Can't go back now. Whoop. I started recording in this Arby's. I gotta finish it. Even though it's closing. That's what I tell them. I, I tell them, I, they try to kick me out. It's closing time, they say no. I say no. Sunk cost theory. Think about it. I can't possibly leave, leave Arby's now. I don't care that we're closing. We're, we're. What have I done? That was actually pretty dangerous. Mutation? That's got some nice synergies to it. Wow, we are so close to dying? Like, it's so funny. It's actually hilarious. We should consider dropping. Oh, let's be real. We should consider dropping Windbeam. And switching. This is causing a what we call in the business Buku frame rate issues. I don't like it. Get him. Got him. Good. 
It's working well when it's... When I can see. When I can see the things, I can see them and hit them well. Whoop, whoop. It's fun to see their health bars go. Makes you realize that everybody... Everybody's just a human, you know? Even the bullets. Why did I do it? Why did it work? Did... For a second there, I thought I broke everything. But no, it's just the game running like garbage because of <laughs> the scouter mixed with the, the spreading liquid mixed with the electricity mixed with the beam weapon. Just uh, a little wacky. Too wacky? No. Don't be silly. Ah, oh, hell yeah, we got this synergy. I've never seen this one before. What do this one do? Yeah, it's, it's a pretty good synergy. It, all things considered, like, you can make fun of it because it's super common. But it's a good synergy. It's a really good synergy. This has a good synergy, too. It's an amazing synergy, even. Whoa. I think this synergy's good. This is the one that's with Sling. Bah! Whoa, that's disappointing. Yes, you can't hit. Is it? Is it getting home? Home? It's homing in. Stop it! I can't. It is garbage. It's garbage. I'll try it out in a room that's less weird and full of pillars. Supposed to do a lot of it, and that's that's the boss right there. Okay, I'm not gonna do it now. All right. <laughs> that was very risky. Very risky with minimal payoff. My middle name. Okay. Boss DPS cap. Wish you weren't a thing. You are ruining my life literally right now. Yeah, I like that positioning a lot better. We can definitely get a little bit further to the left and right and be fine and make sure we are hitting with all the shots. No, we are not. <laughs> yeah, okay. I was going to say, we are not going to get hit by those. Thank you very much. Do we have anything that can break bullets? No. Jolter? Why did I think Jolter got an explosive synergy? But this, the Jolter on Gunslinger is god tier. Oh my god. Oh my god, I bungled it. Oh my god, I bungled it. Oh my god, I bungled it. We're gonna be fine though. We're gonna be fine though. We're gonna be fine though. Bam. Hit him with the gun. <laughs> Hit him with the, the hook shot right to the heart. Hooked through the heart and uh, you're... So lame. We are out of here. What did you have for sale? Anything of value? Oh, yeah, I guess kind of. All right, we'll try. Okay. All right. Sun cost theory. No longer. It was fun while it lasted. Now it's even more fun. Don't tell the, uh, don't tell the hook shot. It, it's a bummer to not have wood beam when you have unity. You want to have as many guns as you can. Because the damage just scales off of all of your guns. The base damage of all your guns percentage of it. So it's really nice to just have as many as possible. Pepe Panther. What is your favorite weapon of all time? I'm assuming you're talking into the Gungeon, and I feel like I might have answered this one before. But it changes from time to time. I mean, what do I think is the most iconic for Gungeon for me? It's Casey. What do I think is the my favorite to get? Yeah, it, it, it depends. AK-47 is really, really fun to get. It, it all depends. It depends on the framing of the question, you know? AK-47 is super satisfying to get because it's almost like a passive wrapped in a gun. Whoop. 
I love the chamber gun. Love the chamber gun a lot. Dig Gunner Fury for reference. <laughs> Beautiful. For reference sake, I love Gunner Fury. I love Gunner Fury and Laser Lotus for just for reference levels. Yep. Oh, yes, this was a good choice. This was a good choice. Don't tell Grappling Hook. Get out of here. Have no fear. Stay out of here. This run is OP. Like, I've, I've been able to play it well, really. <laughs> like, kind of just podcasting, really, more than anything today. You know, we'll we'll do more gunslinger runs. It, it's fun to have the ones that are just a little bit more guarantee, guaranteeably wacky, you know? And if people are asking me for them, I'll do them. I'll do them. I have nothing against the guy. I just assumed that people were going to be getting sick of him by now. Because they he's everywhere, I thought. Meow. That seems pretty nice. Meow. So it's piercing... Okay, it's like a piercing one-shot type thing. Eh, I don't know. It, st it still doesn't seem amazing. It seems kind of fun, though. I cannot get the active reload for the life of me on this one. I think I got it there, though. Yeah, see, like, I might as well just be using this. When you get... You have a certain amount of uh, damage at your disposal, you really just might as well go for the fast-firing things. Things are going to die in a much smoother time interval. <laughs> What's the AoE damage do? Oh. Wait. 27. 27 I saw. We can try to... Here. No. Oh, stop it. I'm trying to learn. I didn't see what number it did. I was trying to see if... Getting the active reload increased the damage or not. And in the end, it didn't even matter. I got all kinds of... All kinds of... Damage from that. What? One one full heart of damage? It's not that big of a deal. Doesn't even... Matter. This one's pretty easy to get the active reload on. I'm, I'm digging that. Lasts for a decent amount of time. All right, all right. So naturally, let's switch to something else that I've confirmed that I cannot get to freaking work. Uh, there we go. I think it's because of the homing. I genuinely do. I think it's really, like, it's homing in a little too strong in some situations. You're doing your job too well. Stop it. Stop it. All right, back to this. Back to you. Sunk cost theory makes me think I... <laughs> let's just say... How many times can we get it in here today? Makes me think that I gotta get better use of this. Because I, I have it and I said it was maybe good. I invested resources. That's right, I filled it up. Fill it back up. <laughs> Almost ran out. It was at 88 out of 90. What if it what if it ran out? What would I do then? Let's, let's gun, gun drop it to take the zero reload speed and make it zero. -er. It actually increase the reload speed. Reload time. So guys, about that retromation remix. <laughs> Boy, oh boy, that is a, <laughs> preemptively, that is a dead lich right there. I'm telling you. Oh, I didn't even have the amp out. Quick, go! Kind of worked. Kind of worked. He is jammed, and I'm not. So that's something. I'm kind of jammed. 
in a way, we're all a little jammed. Now, in a way, getting curse bullets sort of makes you jammed. Stop it. Commando. Not really needed. Oh, I forgot about this. Yeah, there we go. Get the reload speed down. It's even crazier now. As if that was a thing that was necessary. <laughs> this is wacky. I don't want to dodge. You can't make me. Oh, uh, you can make me. Yeah, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm having a good time today. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for all the damage. Those of you who come here for the uh, elite gamer skills. Today's a day for fun. We picked the gunslinger. It's not a, not the day for the elite gamer skills. Boop, 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 boop. This is working well. Also giving me carpal tunnel. Oh. Uh, mash. 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 I don't need to mash. I'm just... It seems like... It goes like a fraction faster when you mash the reload button. That is a dead lich right there. Bada bing, bada boom. See ya. Never again. Man. Thank you for watching today. I greatly appreciate it. Subscribe for daily. Daily. And to the Gungeon videos. Follow me on twitch.tv slash retromation. Catch me streaming and to the Gungeon live. Pushing for partner. Super important if you want to help me push towards doing YouTube and Twitch full time. A massive way you can help me right now is to follow me on Twitch and come to my streams right now. Very, very important way to help with that. And to join the Discord, there's a link in the description there. You'll get notified for major things and for live streams and stuff like that. And if maybe if you just even want to have a question answered in a video, you can click the link down below. Pop on in the Discord and ask away. And maybe I'll get to it in a video. Maybe I, maybe I won't. I probably will. I'm trying to get to all the ones that I have a genuine answer for. But alas, let's plug everything. Why not? Go to Twitter too. Retromation YT. I, I tweet things over there. Usually, mo mostly like ma major updates there go there. Uh, just things I'm looking forward to playing in the future on the channel. So you can get like little, little dribbles of hints of what I might be, what might be coming to the channel in the future. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you. I'll see you next time.